Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, we're coming up with PBC on FS1. We had Jose Uscadegui versus Caleb Plant, and dude, that was a friggin' badass fight right there, man. It was a classic boxer puncher versus slick boxer. And it went exactly how I thought it was going to go. But you got to give it up to both of these fighters, man. Jose Uscadegui, dude, he was freaking going all the way to the very end. But that dude, Caleb Plant, man, he was just a little bit too slick for him, man. His movement, his footwork, his combinations, and plus the main thing that made a very big factor in this fight was the power that he was able to establish going into this fight. He was able to make Jose Uscadegui respect his power, and he was able to have Jose thinking about going into those exchanges a little bit less reckless than he was in the beginning of that fight, man. In the first round, dude, they were pretty much going at it, and Caleb Plant was just using his footwork, straight out boxed Jose Uscadegui in that first round then going into the second round dude they were in the middle of an exchange and dude Caleb Plant straight dropped told me man I was like damn okay that's what I'm talking about right there that's when I knew that Caleb Plant had the power to make that dude respect him and then going into the third round it was pretty much the same thing Caleb Plant was pretty much outboxing Jose Uscadegui in the whole round. Then in the fourth round, it was the same like in the second round. Dude, they were in the middle of an exchange. Caleb Plant was on the ropes. And in the middle of an exchange, Caleb Plant threw a left hook. Boom! And you could tell it effed Jose Uscadegui up, man. It dropped him again. And through the rest of the fight, Caleb Plant was literally running away with the whole friggin' fight, man. He outboxed Jose Uscadegui's shoes off in this damn fight, dude. And then in the later rounds, going into the ninth and 10th round, you could see that Jose Uscadegui, he started friggin' finding his rhythm, applying more pressure. And even in those rounds, I still didn't give him all the rounds. Normally, I judge the fight, but I was watching the fight so intensely and doing screenshots that I didn't even bother scoring the round. I was just watching the fight, especially when I saw Caleb Plant taking off with the fight. It pretty much just became a point to where Jose Uscadegui had to knock his ass out in order to win the fight. And even in the later rounds, even when Jose Uscadegui started applying more pressure and started getting off a little bit more, the one thing that really surprised me was how Caleb Plant was able to stay in the pocket and still just go blow for blow with Jose Uscadegui. And it shows that Caleb Plant does have a chin because Jose Uscadegui actually landed some really good shots shots on him and Caleb Plant was able to take him and still keep on going still able to use this movement and he just had too many factors and too many weapons for Jose Uscadegui to be able to get him up out of there man and going into that last round dude Caleb Plant literally just used this movement to stay away from Jose Uscadegui and he literally just ran off with the fight man ended up winning a unanimous decision and dude you got to give it up to freaking Caleb Plant dog he went in there boxed the brakes off of his ass but the main factors that one one Caleb Plant, the fight was him establishing the jab, him establishing his power. He used tremendous body work in this fight. He was using body work all the way from the first round all the way to the later rounds. And his defense, his footwork, his head movement was friggin' spectacular in this fight, dude. He literally ran off with this fight and won a unanimous decision in this fight, dude. And now he is the new IBF 168-pound champion. And you got to give your hats off to the dude, man. The dude had a spectacular performance in that fight, man. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, make sure to hit me up in the comment section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, all right? So I hope you liked the video. Holla at your boy.